Now we're going to think more about how reflections can be used to manipulate polarization. We already did it for external reflections when you have light bouncing at you and you have glare. The difference between TE and TM can cause the reflected light to be polarized. Now though we want to think about internal reflection again. So this is the case where you have a medium at some index n and the light comes in from inside at some angle theta incident and you just want to think about how much is reflected and how much is transmitted. But the difference is here say this is n equals 1.5 and this is n equals 1 because this is say glass and air then the index you use in the formulas is 1 over 1.5 or about 0.67. So the reflection coefficients are actually the same. They don't actually care if you're going internal reflection or external reflection. It's RTE is cosine theta i minus the square root of n squared minus sine squared theta i over cosine theta i plus the square root of n squared minus sine squared theta i and our Tm is minus n squared cosine theta i plus n square root of n squared theta i over plus n squared cosine theta i and then again plus, sorry, the square root of n squared minus sine square theta i. Okay, that's what we determined before. But we had this interesting case where we're dealing with n less than 1. Here we say the glass is 1.5, the air is 1, but the, the, um, the relative index that you plug into these formulas is now 1 over 1.5, which of course the issue is that makes this um, less than 1 and this can be as big as 1. So for some angles this will be um, complex. So this leads to the R's are complex for large theta i. And we said, well, how do we deal with that? Well, we uh, say, oh, well, let's see, we calculate, rather than just squaring r, the little r's to get the amount of light, you multiply it by its conj complex conjugate. And when you do that, you find that it's equal to 1, again, for large angles of incidence. And that's plotted here. So here you can say we have a plot of little r te and little r tm versus angle, and when you get beyond a certain angle, they just go to 1. And that was total internal reflection, which I may have abbreviated like that. But now, we want to think more in here. What goes on in there? Beyond just total internal reflection, what else could we manipulate in there? Uh, what else could we use to manipulate polarization? That's what we're going to think about.